Now we are going to make circular light with a quarter wave plate so that we can make sure the matrices don't lie. Let's make sure everything stays consistent. So the way you'd like to do this is send unpolarized light through some polarizers and wave plates and be sure that it works out. We'll do the diagram, we'll do the matrices, we'll check everything. The problem is Jones' uh, calculus is not very good for unpolarized light. Okay, it's just, we don't want to get into it. Coherence, all this stuff. So what we'll do is we'll start with linearly polarized light, but in the wrong direction. Okay, so we'll start with horizontally polarized lights. So this is linear and horizontal. So I'm drawing uh, the light there, and we're going to send it along the x or along the optic axis. And the first thing it needs to hit is a polarizer, because the polarizer is going to be set at 45 degrees. Okay, so the TA of this polarizer looks like that. And the reason you want to do that is you need to have the, um, the ether, uh, to have the light polarized at 45 degrees to the wave plate because you want to get some polarization along each axis. Okay? So if we continue, the optical axis continues. Now in this region, we've taken our linear light and it's going to just be this component at 45 degrees, which is what you want when you're making circular light. And then next, it's going to hit the wave plate like this. And the wave plate, we're going to give its uh, uh, slow axis vertical. So the fast axis is there, so it hits the wave plate. And the question is, when it comes out, what's the state of the light? Is it circular? Which way? What does it look like? Okay. So slow axis is that way, therefore fast axis would be this way. OK, so that's the basic drawing. So now let's think about the matrices for this. Um, we started with um, horizontal light, right? So that would be uh, one, zero. Let me see, I'll start with it uh, down here. Like that, horizontal over vertical. And then we hit a polarizer at 45 degrees. So we know that is a half, a half, a half, a half. We talked about that on polarizers, all the cosines and sines squared of two over twos are all squared and you get all halves. And then we have, let's see, a quarter wave plate with the slow axis uh, vertical. That was 100J, zero, zero, 100J. One, zero, zero, and that brings um, an e to the minus j pi over 4 out into the amplitude. Because we can even check the amplitude and make sure, make sure it works out. So the light hits polarizer, hits fast axis, and we see what comes out. So that looks, that looks correct. So let's start multiplying it. So this is going to become 1 half, and uh, let's see, 1 half times 1 is a half plus 0, and then a half times 1 is a half plus 0. So this comes out to be 1 half, 1 half. Right? So let's see, so we've got E minus J pi over 4. We've still got the, that to go through, and 1 half. All right. And then now we multiply this. We get e to the minus j pi over 4. And this becomes 1 half in the top and 1 half j in the bottom. And there's a common factor of a half you can pull out. So it's 1 half e to the minus j pi over 4, 1j. Right. And that is LCP. So we have less circular polarized light because we got it down to 1j, 1 over j. Now, you got all this prefactor stuff. Really, that's just the amplitude. Right? If you're trying to identify the type of light, anything you can pull out in front, you don't care. Okay? It's the, um, but if you want to think about how much light actually got through, then you care. So now let's think about what really got through. Well, it would be um, this one times its complex conjugate plus this one times its complex conjugate. So the top part is 1 half times e to the minus j pi over 4 um, times 1. And then times its complex conjugate would be a half again. And then this part would be complex conjugate and make the imaginary part positive, e to the plus j pi over 4. So you can see these two make 1, right? e to the 
It makes e to the 0 is 1. So that one's part is really a fourth. And then you do the same thing for this. Uh, those parts are going to go away. You have uh, j and then times minus j is, uh, let's see, those two together will make another minus 1. And you'll basically get another fourth. Right. 1 half times 1 half. Those two are the same. They go away. And then you have minus j times j. But together, that makes 1. Right. So the whole thing together is 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 1 half. So the original power that was in this beam, you got half out. And does that make sense? Yes, it does. If the light hits the polarizer at an angle of 45 degrees, according to Malice's law, the amount of light that gets through will go as cosine squared. Right? So the cosine of 45 degrees is squared root 2 over 2. Square root 2 over 2 squared is a half. So a half of the light got from here to here. And then you don't lose any power in a wave plate in any kind of a phase retarder. Because remember, it has anisotropy in the real part of the dielectric. It assumes it's a dielectric, that it has no imaginary part. There's no absorption to think about in a wave plate or a phase retarder. So if you ignore any possible imaginary part of the refractive index, there's no absorption. So you don't lose any light here. You change the uh, state of the light, the polarization state, but you don't lose any of the power. So that's why we ended up with a half um, for the amount of light we had. And we determined that this is going around LCP. So now we know from the matrices that we made circular light, that it's LCP. But now I want to really make sure, in terms of really physically what's happening in a wave plate. So let's think about it all the way down to the real physical level. Let's imagine the material has a really, let's draw it really wide. This is the thickness of the material. And this is the direction of the slow axis polarization. And that's vertical. So I'll draw that light coming in like this. And let's imagine this is the direction of the fast axis of the material. So we're kind of looking at the thickness of the wave plate in the two directions. And I'll draw that. I'll give you some perspective and say it's kind of going like that. Now, when the light goes into the materials, uh, the fast axis, it's going to go um, through, let's say, two cycles. So let me draw myself a nice little axis to draw with respect to. And there's the middle point. So it's going to get through a cycle and another cycle. It goes through exactly two cycles on the fast axis, say. The thickness happens to be just right for two cycles. The slow axis, the wave is actually going slower. Okay? It's at the same frequency, but it's going slower. So if I draw my optical axis again and draw the center there, well, the center is about there, whatever, um, it's going to go and get, it's not going to really take it that long, and it's going to go a little extra. Right. So it did the two cycles. So by the time this got all the way through, this one had made it to here. Right. So it has to go a little bit more cycles to get to the end. Because what you really care about is what comes out. Right. OK, so when we got the thing to come out, now we have an E field where they're not in phase like they were here. Now they're out of phase. But let's think about exactly how they're out of phase. So the light comes out, and the E field apparently has a large component up like that. And it has a zero horizontal component. But what's happening to this sine wave? It's coming down. So the E field is going down this way. And here it's growing horizontally. Right? So horizontal to the right is positive. So what that means is it's going around this way, around that axis. Right? Well, that's not good. That looks like RCP. We said this is LCP. So this is a very common way to get confused about this. You don't define the polarization, circular polarization, or linear for that matter, of the light going away. Remember, the very first thing we said about polarization is let's look down the barrel of the light. All right. So if we look at it from this side, which is the side from which you define polarization, we'd say, no, it's kind of going like that. So what looks like RCP from this side, from the proper way, is LCP. So sure enough, whether we do it with hand waving, or whether we do it with matrices, or whether we think about the actual vectors, it's definitely taking linear light and making LCP. 